Hi there. I understand you're going on holiday soon, is that right? Lovely. Where are you going? Great. So, it's likely to be nice and warm then. Are you looking forward to it? I bet. How long are you going for? That will be really nice, I'm sure. It would be nice to have a bit of a break from work and things. Mm. So, I understand that you booked a medical checkup today as part of your holiday plans, just to make sure that you have a clean bill of health before you leave, is that right? Mm-hmm. Okay. And you came in last week to have some bloods taken? Good. I, hope, I was hoping you'd say that because we have the results here. And I'm pleased to tell you that they all look perfectly normal. So, that's a really good start. I'm going to do a detailed medical examination today. But before I get started, I'd just like to ask you a few questions, if that's all right. Okay. So, your reason for booking the appointment today, was that for travel insurance purposes, or were there other health concerns that you had that prompted you to book? Okay. Mm -hmm. So, a little bit of trouble sleeping. Mm -hmm. And is that every night or just sometimes? Right, okay. And how long has that been going on for? Okay. And do you find that you have trouble getting to sleep in the first place or is it the case that you're waking up during the night and then struggling to get back to sleep, or just not getting a good quality of sleep? Right, okay. And are there any other symptoms that are going along with that? So, are you having any nausea, for example, or headaches, or... Right. Okay. And what are the frequency of those headaches? How often do you get them? Mm -hmm. And how long do they last for? Is there anything that causes you any concern about travelling? So, for example, do you experience any travel sickness or do you experience anxiety about flights, for example, or flying? Okay. Just mild or...? Mm -hmm. Okay, well there are certainly things that we can do to help with mild travel sickness and things and I'm sure that contributes slightly to anxiety around travelling in general. That's it. Okay. Right. When was the last time that you had a medical exam? Okay. And what about an eye test? Do you remember? That's fine. And how about any other health issues or medications recently? Okay. Not a problem. Are you planning on driving at all while you're abroad? Hiring a car? Or do you think you'll just stay in the resort? Or... Lovely. Well, that will be really exciting. It's a lovely island and it's really nice to be able to explore on your own terms, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, have you 
you driven abroad before? A couple of times, yeah. On the opposite side of the road there. Get used to it very quickly. Okay. Right. That is all I need to note for now. So I want to get started today on basically a top to bottom exam because you've obviously not had any kind of uh, checkup for a while. Um, I think it's important to make sure, as I said, that we can give you a clean bit of belt so that you can go on your travels and not worry that there are any underlying issues going on. Um, it is good as well for medical insurance purposes, uh, just to make sure that you're covered there. And I think as well we can rule out any underlying factors which might be contributing to the sleeping issues that you've been having. Alright. Good, okay, I'm just going to put some gloves on then. And I'm going to start at the very top. So, I'm going to examine firstly your scalp and the skin on your face. And the reason for that is that sometimes underlying issues can present themselves through the skin. The skin being the biggest organ in our body um, tells a story really about our general health. So if it's right with you, I will just have a quick look and see what's going on. Good. Okay, are you comfortable there? Then. And I'm just going to part a section of your hair here. Okay, and just having a closer look there at the skin on your skull just to see what's going on. Okay, that's looking all good. Any signs of anything that will cause me concern? I'm just going to look also on the left side of your head here, just parting a few sections of hair. Okay. okay. Do you find that you suffer much with dandruff or dry, itchy scalp? Signs of any irritation or areas 
of skin that look particularly sore on your scalp so we don't have to worry about that. I'm just going to take a closer look now at the skin on your face as well. So I'm just going to touch your face if that's alright. Okay. Right, I'm going to start over by your uh, left ear, your left cheekbone here. Excellent. 
now same again, just focus on the light here. So look directly into that light and just watch it as it moves around. Keep focusing on it. Job. Keep focusing on that light. Okay. Keep your head nice and still. Just follow with your eyes only. Excellent. Brilliant job. So your eyes are responding normally and as I'd expect, which is excellent. So I'm going to look inside your mouth now. So I would just like you to open your mouth for me. Okay. And close it again. Okay, I'm going to put my hand under your jaw and I'd like you, under your chin, sorry, and I'd like you to just try and open your mouth against my hand. Okay. And go. Good, and close it back up for me. And while it's closed, I'm just going to feel along where your bite is, where your teeth meet, okay? Good. Keep it nice and closed for me. Any pain there? Any tenderness? Mm -hmm. Okay. Right, have you had a dental checkup recently? Any pain in your gums? Any pain in any particular teeth? Do you tend to get any bleeding when you're brushing or flossing? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's just have a quick look then. So if you could open your mouth for me again, I'm just going to look at the top teeth here, just starting around by the molars at the back and working my way around towards the front there. Just having a look at your your vaccinations up to date? As far as you're aware. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wonderful. Now I would just like to have a good look inside each of your ears as well, if that's okay. Yeah. 
And what I'm going to do is just look for any signs of um, inflammation or tenderness inside the ear canal as well. So, do you experience any issues with balance or... Okay, that can sometimes contribute to headaches, so I just want to make sure that that's uh, not what's going on. Alright, so I'm just going to look right here in your left ear. So I'm just going to move around just Okay Good Stay nice and still for me if you can Is that alright for you not to uncomfortable? Good So that's looking good in that I don't think you've got anything to be concerned about inside your left ear It's nice and as well. So, that's all good. Lovely, okay. And the same again also for your right ear. So let's just have a good look inside here. Now 
I'm going to do the same test with your arms. So I want you to just stretch your arms out for me. Good, okay. And I'm going to place my hands on top of your hands and I'd like you to try to lift up against the weight of my hands, alright? Okay, so just your right hand there and your left hand there. Good, okay. And just try to lift up against my hands there. Fingers like this, my fingers, I want you to wrap your hand around my fingers and just squeeze as tight as you can just for a couple of seconds. Okay, good. Just checking your grip strength and the reaction of your muscles in your arms there and everything has responded perfectly, so that's all good. Now I'm going to check uh, your heart and your lungs as well before we move on to your torso. Just going to have a really close listen to see what's going on there. So I'm just going to start firstly by listening to your heartbeat and your pulse get a reading there. So let's just see. Sounds really good as well. So I'm just going to put that one over here. We don't need that one. Anymore. 
anymore for now. Now, in terms of your torso, I'm interested particularly in your abdomen and whether you've had any pain in your stomach or when you eat, do you get any pain or are there certain foods that cause any issues, any digestive issues generally? Good, okay. So, all in good order. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to press in a couple of different areas on your stomach and I just want you to tell me if they are sore or just normal, okay? Good, alright, just here. Mm -hmm. And here. Alright, and here. Mm -hmm. And how about here? Great, okay. Sore at all? No. Great. Okay, that's all really good then. So, I'm just going to take your hand here, your left hand first, and I'm going to do a sensitivity test. So, I'm just going to run this brush along each of your fingers. And I'd like you to tell me if, you, if there are any areas that are numb, there are no sensation at all. Or if you can feel that as I'm brushing your hand at each point, okay? It might be a little bit tickly. Alright, here we go. Just your left hand here then. Could you feel that one? Good. And along your thumb. Good. Okay. And your middle finger. Feel that? Yep. And the same along your ring finger. Excellent. And also just your little pinky finger there. Great. And I'm going to turn your hand over. And I'm just going to use this blunt end of the brush. And I'm just going to tap in a couple of different places. Okay, so same again. Just tell me if any areas feel numb or you don't feel any sensation at all. You can keep looking at me if you like rather than watching to see. Okay, I've just got your hand here and good. Can you feel all of those? Excellent. Okay, let's do the same test then on the other side with your right hand. So again, just extend your palm out for me and I'm going to run the brush along each of your fingers. Okay, good. So I'm going to start on your pinky finger here. Could you feel that okay? Mm -hmm. And your ring finger. Excellent. And your middle finger. Okay, and your thumb as well, all the way from the base of your thumb right up to the tip. Good. Okay, turn your hand over for me and just the same again. Let me know if you can feel this as I'm pressing various areas there of your hand. Those okay. Mm -hmm. Any areas that feel numb? Any areas that feel tingly as I'm pressing? So, sort of a pins and needles type of sensation. Good. Alright. That's excellent. Okay. Let's have a little chat then about your. Let your, the lower half of your body, so your legs and your feet. Have you had any issues with your legs and your feet lately? Okay. No soreness when you're walking. No issues with your hips if you've been standing for a long time. Okay. 
and do you have any pain in your feet or any swelling in your ankles at the end of the day? I would just like to do the same thing with your uh, feet as well and your calves, the lower part of your legs. I'm just going to do a sensitivity test on the skin. Right, so if you could just extend your leg out for me here, I will just roll up your trouser there if that's okay, just up to your knee. Mm -hmm. Okay, we can keep your socks on, that's fine. All right. Okay, so again, this might be a little bit tickly and I'm sorry, but I'm just going to run the brush along from your knee bone right the way down to the front of your ankle there, okay? Just let me know, make sure that you can feel that all the way down. Okay, good, here we go. Alright, good, and the same along the side of your leg. Excellent. And do you have a ticklish feet? You do? Okay, that's fine. So I won't do the same there, I'll spare you that. But I'll just use this again, the blunt end of the brush, just to press. And I'd like you to tell me if it feels normal, if any areas feel tender at all, or if any areas feel a bit strange, tingly, or like pins and needles. Okay. Good. All right. So just on the top of your foot. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Good. And just on your base of your foot as well, around the ball of your foot there. Can you feel that? Okay. Great. And down towards your heel. Is where it's numb at all, you've got no sensation. Okay, and over the calf muscle at the back, finally. Down towards the heel at the back. Good, okay. And then finally, again, the same sensitivity test, just with the blunt end of the brush there on the top of your foot and the underside of your foot, okay. Okay, here we go then. So, 
from my point of view, you have a clean bill of health. Uh, the mild symptoms of travel sickness that you tend to experience, we can sort for you. I can give you a prescription for that one, so you don't need to worry about that. Um, so if you are, um, you know, having a transfer to wherever you're picking your car up from, or I don't know if you're picking it up from the hotel, for, uh, from the airport, for example, any, any sort of travel like that, then that will cover you for that. And even if you experience it on the plane, actually, that will cover you. And uh, I think the headaches that you've been experiencing, what I would like to do is actually refer you to an optician just to have your eyes tested. Although they are responding normally, your pupils are responding normally, um, it would be best really to see if perhaps your eyesight has changed over time and there's a prescription that's needed that might be contributing to, um, you know, headaches and things, especially if you're going to be driving over there, it's probably best to have that checked. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I will note down that we're going to get that one booked in for you and because it's coming from us as well, we can get that in quite quickly so you shouldn't have to wait too long. Okay. Right, so we have also checked today. We had a good look in your mouth. And signs of infection in your throat, in your ears. Um, I noticed on your skin you don't have any sort of a temperature and you said you haven't been experiencing a fever, so that's all good. Um, no pain or discomfort in your um, stomach area at all, so that's all good. And your muscles and uh, your other reactions all perfectly normal. Uh, no signs of any dehydration. Your skin is looking nice and healthy. So, that is all good. As for sleeping issues, I think that is something that can have um, various different contributing factors, actually. So, it's one of those things that's a little bit tricky to um, treat without knowing what the underlying cause is. You said it's been relatively recently, so it might be the anxiety of travelling that's bringing it on slightly, particularly with you experiencing a little bit of travel sickness. Um, and anxiety about flying, that might be contributing to it. Um, if you've had a lot of it on your mind with organising, going away, and also, of course, it's been a little while since any of us have really been able to travel abroad because, um, you know, of the flights and everything, so... Uh, that, that could be contributing to it a little bit as well if it's been a while since you've been away. So, um, we can certainly uh, look at some natural remedies which might help you to get a little bit of sleep, at least in the meantime. And I will get on your way out, I'll get our receptionist to give you a list of those various things that we would recommend trying one or the other of. So I'll just send a note for that through in a minute. Um, also, the headaches as well, of course, could be contributing to it. So if we have that sorted, if that is to do with your eyesight, then that will really help. Okay. The other things, of course, that you can do, you're saying you're keeping hydrated, which is excellent, but of course, trying to stay away from caffeinated drinks in the afternoons, for example, just restrict it to the mornings. Um, also, um, any kind of very sugary foods in the evenings, if you can cut that out as well. Just maybe some light exercise in the evening if you have time to fit that in. Um, that will help your body to release any extra energy that you've got pent up, especially if it's stress or anxiety. It can help to release it, which can help you to wind down and get into a sleeping uh, state, sleeping mode. Um, the other thing that you could try and do is implementing a kind of a sleep routine and a sleep zone in your bedroom. So if you can 
couldn't help it, then no bright lights in the bedroom, TVs, phones before you go to sleep. Or at least, um, if you can use the night light function on your uh, phone so that the, the light coming out of your phone isn't uh, contributing or affecting your um, circadian rhythm, that can be really helpful. Uh, and also just doing things that trigger your body into um, realising that it's sleep time. So maybe a nice relaxing bath or a couple of candles, just read a few pages of a book anything that helps you to wind down and de-stress just before you go to sleep. Um, the longer you keep that routine up, the more your body will start to recognise and respond to that routine as a sleep routine, and that can really help as well, alright? Good. Okay, so what I suggest we do is you go away, get your optician's appointment done, have your lovely holiday, and if you are still having any issues uh, when you return, if you don't feel like the sleep issues are going away, then please do come back and see me and we will discuss some other alternatives, alright? Good. Okay. In the meantime, I wish you the very safest of travels and the loveliest of holidays. I will see you again.